Okay, so we're in 514 now. This is another 2-2 unit available at uh, J5 in Midtown Atlanta. I imagine, I think I looked this one up, it's around 777,000. More than my house. Uh, space for a full-size washer and dryer. Coat closet. Uh, I'm gonna start here in this bathroom, which again, serves double duty as a powder room and an ensuite bath into this secondary bedroom. Very well appointed. What I've noticed in this one is that neither of the bedrooms actually has windows. Instead, they have this, basically a transom at the top of this wall to let light in from the rest of the unit. Um, this is kind of a Z-shaped, it's really interesting. The first bedroom is on your immediate right when you walk in, and then you've got this dining area and sitting area next to it. Little nook for a desk here. And then the central portion of the unit is basically your kitchen area, which you can see here on the left, and then your living room behind it. And then the terrace on this one is actually tucked in here. It's a little bit different from some of the other ones, more private. Um, you can see looking out that most of them jut out from the building, but this terrace is tucked in, so your neighbors really can't see you because you're not jutting out from the building. Uh, the one downside is it's probably noisy. I think this unit faces directly east, yeah. Uh, probably noisy if you're overlooking the pool here. So um, I see a couple floors below us. We are on five floors, so that's the third floor of those gi ginormous terraces um, that those people have down there. Looking back at the kitchen and the entryway, now we're gonna head into the master. Um, again, uh, it's a good size room, but uh, the only light coming in is really from this transom at the top of this window. Sorry, top of this wall. Uh, and master bath, pretty similar to the other one. Oh, you don't get two shower heads, just a shower with a bench, which is interesting. This is how our bench is. It's below the shower head, which I thought was weird, but I guess it works. And then um, I think they're giving you some type of complimentary uh, California closet build out because their literature is all over the place. Um, so that is J5. I'm not gonna go to the other two units. The first one's just a one bedroom and it's not furnished. And then the last one, um, maybe I will go there. We'll see.